Well, here I am again, out there making it another great day. I am in St. Petersburg today. I am at the Brocante Vintage Market, which happens once a month. This is the last one this year. There's a big crowd of people out here getting ready to go in here. I've seen some pictures of some items online I'm going to go check out. Um, some Christmas decor, those light up plastic Christmas uh, light ups uh, I saw. And um, we're going to go in here and check this out. And uh, I do like to go look through vintage, vintage items. And obviously everybody else does too because they are wrapped around the building here at this market. Uh, they come down here early hours before this opens so they can get a good place in line. But it happens all weekend long and uh, I'm excited for this. Uh, that's coming at you right now. This here is a sign for the Procante Vintage Market. It's open the first Saturday and Sunday of every month. This is the last one of 2017. And we're going to go inside and check this out. And these people here are lined up getting ready to go in the Vintage Market here that we're going to go check out. I'm going to have to go get in this line. I may eventually get to the end of this line here. And uh, it's only going to be a few more minutes and they're going to open the doors. I am almost up here to the entrance and people are screaming, they're excited. Uh, they're finally getting in here. It's a big crowd. Well, I am finally in the door and here are these pair of vintage light up Noel candlesticks that I saw. It looks like it's $24. Man, not too bad. I don't know if anybody wants that. Here is an interesting train as well. That's pretty cool. And as soon as you come in, they have a Christmas tree all decked out with license tags. That's pretty interesting. That's, uh, that'll stop traffic for sure. Looks like they got some Golden Girls chairs here as well. This looks like something you might see in the Golden Girls house. There's a lot of people in here in this here shop. They're really browsing and Getting into some of this vintage stuff. There's some interesting items in here. There's a lot. They've even got some snowballs set up here. It looks like snowballs here for sale. It's those styrofoam uh, balls. Pretty cool way they got that arranged. This is a huge market, and there is a ton of people in here. And I'm absolutely amazed. You can't hardly look at anything. Here are some more of those light ups that you can't find anymore. These are. Looks like they're fifteen dollars, and it's got somebody's name on it already. Uh, those are, you can't find those anymore. Those are pretty cool. Here's a bunch of miniature plastic light-up candles. There's a whole bunch of those for five dollars a piece. That's not too bad. Those are pretty old, pretty vintage. You can't find those anymore. You can find it fast in the yellow page, as it says, and it's also there's a big deer up here on the side of the wall. And there's a light-up Santa Claus, and the Santa Claus, unfortunately, has been sold, so no win on that one. Here is a monkey cookie jar. That looks pretty interesting. They have a lot of old signage and stuff up here on the walls. There's a lot of people in here, like I said. I can't hardly look. There's so many people, and I see an old vintage cash register over here. That is, that is a classic one there for sure. Look at the old, the old buttons on that. They also have a lot of outdoor furniture and stuff in here as well. Up here is another one of those vintage Santa Clauses, and he's faded quite a bit. But uh, that was probably made in the 50s at least. That's some pretty old vintage plastic light-ups. It looks like right here they have an old vintage scale that they used to weigh meat and stuff at the butcher, I guess. And that is, that is a vintage scale right there. I've seen another one over on the other side. I couldn't see it, but uh, this one I can see. Here is an old plaster of Paris Santa face. And he's pretty vintage. You could put that on your door, I guess. That's a vintage Santa right there. 
looks like they have the kitchen chairs from that 70s show here as, as well. Those look pretty good and in pretty good condition as well. Lots of cool stuff in here. I just, I'm just amazed at all the items. I think there's more people in here than inside of a theme park. There's just wall-to-wall -wall people here and it's trying to get through to look is very difficult. But I'm trying. Here's some, here's some interesting heads here. I'm not sure if that was from a doctor's office or something. That's pretty interesting. Well, when life gives you lemons, you make a lemon tree and set it on the table. So there's a lemon tree. If you need a lemon tree. I have spotted a very unique lamp here. I would love to have that. I wonder how much that is. That's pretty cool. Something you might see in the maybe the 70s or the 60s. Let's check that out. Uh, $175. Pretty cool though. Pretty retro. I like it. Retro lamps like that. I have found an old creepy doll here. And then uh, it's setting up against an old vintage typewriter. Maybe they're getting ready to write a horror movie or something. I'm not sure, but that is kind of creepy. Looks like they have a goat over here with a halo and wings. I guess it's a flying goat. Never did see a flying goat before, but I guess they have one here. Here is yet another one of those light up plastic Christmas decorations. And this is a Frosty the Snowman, and Frosty's been sold as well. Those are hard to find. These are some things that are usually coming back nowadays. These are a trend, these ceramic Christmas trees. My mother used to have one of those. And that one's already sold as well. As, uh, those are making a comeback for the holidays. Now this light up right here, I actually have this part of it, the Santa Claus light up. And I'm not sure where my reindeer are, but I only have the Santa Claus part of it. And it was probably made back in the 60s. And my mother had it and I've kept it all these years. And it still lights up. I just don't have the, I don't have the reindeer. But I do have the Santa sleigh. They've also got some uh, movie posters, vintage movie posters in here. Here's one down here. It says, don't mix with Sam Whiskey. It's risky. I don't remember that movie, but I think Theme Park Brews might, might have the challenge there with Sam Whiskey. I haven't seen one of these in years. My mother used to make these. They're, uh, they have a Santa Claus one and they have a Mrs. Claus. And the bottom part was made out of old Reader's Digests. And uh, those were really popular back in the 70s. And I don't know why, but uh, she was making those, her and her friends. This is a very interesting lamp here. It looks like some flowers and stuff. I would love to have that, but that is sold. That looks pretty darn cool. This big sign up here says railroad crossing. It's more like a people crossing because there's people everywhere in this shop. I'm going to venture into this next room and there's just plenty of people in here looking around and they're still coming in. I've never seen so many people at a market and uh, once a month and this is their holiday market here going on well i have stumbled upon some vintage christmas ornaments and these do look like these might be original original shiny brights it doesn't say shiny bright on it anywhere that i can see i don't think uh, but those are pretty old uh, classic old and they are only sixteen dollars it does look like and uh, I do like the shiny brights. One of my friends, he collects the shiny brights and Christmas is his holiday. Lots of people here in line making that purchase. It is a holiday type market. It's the last one of the year. So they have a lot of holiday items in the shop for this month. And they have a lot of items every month and they do change. Here is a whole picnic basket ensemble of all kinds of thermoses and a metal lunch box if you're ready to go on a picnic. Well, here is an old vintage doctor bag, probably back in the day when uh, doctors made house calls. And it's draped in some red Christmas lights there. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's kind of a red alert with their blood pressure or something. Here is an interesting old toy. It looks like an old backhoe digger, and it's all metal. That's a pretty vintage looking toy here. And uh, it says Keystone Ride'em. It's a steam shovel. And... Uh, that is definitely an old toy for sure. Someone would 
plex those type things would probably love that uh, I think it's pretty neat myself here is an old vintage bed warmer and the first thing I thought of when I seen this bed warmer was the bewitched episode where she turns Darren into a bed warmer that was interesting I have found some vintage glasses here of the Archies from the Archie comics and it's dated where's that at 1973 and there's a set of three of them here for Archie comics and these here are those uh, Garfield McDonald's mugs I remember when those came out at McDonald's everybody had to have those those right there are some very interesting lamps indeed and I do like these little glasses here those are I like the design on that and I believe my mother had one of these this big gigantic nut that she put nuts in and it's made out of ceramics I have found some old uh, pillows here I remember when you used to make the you could buy the uh, kits at I think Joanne fabrics of the cartoon characters and stuff them and make a pillow and here they got Betty and Barney rubble those are some vintage vintage pillows right there that somebody made years ago now here's an interesting telephone I've never seen a telephone with a with a crank on the side and there's no there's no numbers I guess you just picked it up like in Mayberry and asked for Sarah to get you a number now now I have actually found a box of shiny brights these are shiny brights and they're vintage ornaments and they're only six dollars and you get twelve vintage shiny brights for six dollars and it looks like they were originally a dollar and nineteen cents when they came out from many years ago but the shiny brights are making a comeback and they are highly collectible well what holiday market wouldn't be complete without some old rustic classic sleds I don't know what you'd use a sled for down here in Florida but I guess you could ship it up north or something or maybe just hang it on the wall as a reminder of those snow days gone by well that was an experience that was my trip to the Brocante market I don't know if I'm saying that right Brocante she said it different ways uh, hopefully I got that right maybe somebody knows somebody will probably correct me they normally do uh, when I do these uh, hope you like going to these places uh, I just found this place interesting this is kind of like the picker place over in Ybor City that uh, they do this same kind of thing but this one here is in St. Petersburg and it's the first Saturday and Sunday of the month and this one here is their very last one of this year it's their holiday market so uh, holidays are gone uh, hope maybe by the time you see this but uh, I'm gonna continue going out there making it a great day finding new things hopefully that you'll want to see things I want to check out appreciate all you subscribers we've reached over 400 subscribers keep hitting that subscribe button check out our spread shirt shop um, and then one year anniversary and uh, we're going into 2018 so remember go out there make it a great day because you deserve it